Are you tired of your cars looking like this? Would you prefer them to look like this? Well, today we're going to show you how to alter the XML files of not only plows, but also the capacity of trailers too. So stick around and learn something new with Fan Fiasco. I think we'll go for the uh, cramp big butter. It's only got one, oh wait, it's got a variable capacity. That's okay. I'll show you how to work around them. And then we're going to go with a plow, I think, because nobody likes plowing. And the most popular plow being the Lizard 6M, wherever it may be. Right, here we are, the Lizard 6M, so it's got a 6 meter work width. We're going to increase that today, and we're going to make it do an entire 4x map in one swoop. But be cautious, if you do that, your game will lag like crazy. So now the first thing we're going to have to do is quit the game. And if you look over here, we, I have two different mod folders for Farming Simulator. This is the main directory. So the way I have to go about it is I go to my C folder, down to Users, my default user, just called user, I've not been named a person. Then we want to go to Documents, and then we just got to find Farming Simulator, and I think it's under Games. There we are. And then, so as you see, you've got 11 to 13, all the way up to 25. So we're going to go here. So I've got two mod folders. I've got this one, which is where my downloads go to. And then I have this one that I've emptied for the sake of this video. This is where I put my third party or converted mods into this one. So what we're going to have to do now is go back to the mod folder. And the Lizard 6M is the one that we'll start with. So we just want to copy this. And now I've got a folder called converted mods somewhere. I think it's in my D drive. So here we are converted mods so I've got these let's just remove them we're done so we'll just paste that into here and then we're just gonna extract it to the lizard 6 and folder now we see a few files this is your mod description which we'll be editing later this is the XML file which it says it's Microsoft Edge but it is actually an XML and then we've got the i3d which is the shapes file and then this i3d file format this is the one that we're going to need today so it You'll need Notepad++ with this, because this is what I use to upgrade all my things. So now that we're in the XML file, we have all these things that may look baffling to you, but don't worry, there's only one area that we need, and it's very easy to find. It's about three quarters of the way down, and it's called the work area. But if you're like me, and you're blind, and you can't skim read quick enough, then you can just do Control F, and then work press enter and there we are there's the work area oh this one wasn't three parts of the way down i lied to you i do apologize so the three that we want to alter are these three numbers here once i say number three so this is kind of i tend to go so let's just do 30 for the sake of things now the rule of thumb that i was told is do half a denomination on each of these sections here and then that will be 15 on one side 15 on the other side and 30 in total and then what we're going to do is we're just going to save that and then let's back out to here and then we're going to go to this one and edit this with notepad plus plus just so we can change the name of it 6m and we'll just put modded then this is just like the visual so it requires 180 you can change that but it doesn't really make a difference uh, working with six meters let's just put on let's just put I don't know. I don't know how many meters it is. You can tweak them as much as you want to make sure that they're the right size. But yeah, this is what we need. So I'm going to go back to this one actually. So I'm just going to quickly save this. And I want it to do a full 4x map. So let's do, I don't know, say 200. In fact, no, that might be a bit too small. Let's go 500. And then we'll want 250 on each side. there we go so that's all altered and then let's back out to here again and then this is the mod description folder so this is what you'll see in the mod description so we're just going to put 6m modified or modded you can change the author i tend to just leave them as they are because i didn't create the mod i'm just altering it and then here we can change what it says the price is the work width let's just put 6000 meters oh, 60 million and then there we go, so we're just going to save that, and then we're going to back out to here. We're going to highlight every single one of them, and then we're going to send to 
compressed zip folder. It might be different if you're on Windows 11 or Apple. Don't game on a Mac, by the way. And then we're just going to call this fs 22 underscore gauge 6m. And there we have it. So now we're just going to drag and drop this into our PDLC folder. And while we're here, we're going to go back to our mods folder. If I can find it. There we are. Let me just put my glasses on so I can see what I'm saying. And then we've got the uh, cramp big body. So we're just going to copy this one. Go back to our converted mods folder. Wherever it has gone. There we are. Converted mods. And then we're just going to paste this in here. So now that we've got this, we're going to go with extract 2. And here we are. So it's the same thing. So we've got the mod description, the XML file, the 3D shapes that requires Giants Editor, and then the coding behind it with the 3D file. So this one we don't need to touch these to be honest, because we're not altering any of the shapes or formats of it. We're just going to want to go into the mod description and the XML. So we'll look at the XML first, and we're going to have to look for capacitor. This one can alter a lot of the physical aspects and the pricing. So like here we can say, oh well we want we don't want them trailer bow tires to cost two thousand. Two dollars. And then when we go to buy them tires, it'll only cost two dollars. Which is it's fine by me. I don't care. I mean I don't really change tires on trucks, I just leave them as they are. And we're gonna look for the section that says capacitor, which is somewhere down here. There we are. Category type bulk, which is all crops. And then capacity is 20,000. So we are going to increase that. So it's going to go from 20,000 to here's 200,000, 2 million, 20 million, 200 million, 2 billion. Let's do 20 billion. And then before we move on to that, we're going to have to go here, do a little space. And we're just going to lowercase up, date, capital M for mass, equals quotation mark or speech mark, false. And that way, the crop will be weightless and it won't cause your tractors to stall. That's kind of fun. And then there's just one more thing we need to do, and that's the discharge. So this is the speed of the crops per second, I think it is. So empty speed is going to be 2,678 litres per second, which is going to, if you've got to unload 20, 20 billion litres, that's going to take forever. So we'll just put it, I don't know, say 200 million. So 200, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, there we go. 200 million per second. And that will discharge in about 10 seconds at a full capacitor. Oh, Jesus Christ, I need to take a breath when I'm talking. All right, let's close out of here. And then we're just going to do the same with the mod description. So if you want to, you can change the author or include yourself if you plan on publishing it. I would speak to the author before you do that. And then we're going to just go to... Cramp big body modded again, and we've also, while I'm at it, it does have a variable capacitor. So I am going to just go back up here to the capacity section that we just altered. Where have you gone? Where have you gone? That's back for the tyres. Oh, there we are, capacitor. So we've got two different types of capacitors here. We've got the 20, 200 billion. And then we've got this other capacitor, which is the lower style. So we'll just put that, say, to 20 billion. And then we'll just save that. So then it's got unrealistic. Oh, we nearly forgot one thing. Why didn't you tell me? Update mass equals false. That way it's not going to be too heavy. Let's back out of there and then we're just going to... Did we change the pub description? Yes we did. That's fine. Now we're just going to highlight them all and then we're going to... Send to compress that folder and then we're just going to call that FS22 modded cramp Order, and that way we know what it is and then just drag and drop that in the pdlc folder so now we've got these two and in the mods folder we have these two and all the other dlc shit so we're going to boot back into giants again so now when we check our plow section you can see that we've got the two we've got one that says modded and one that says the not modded so this one 
looks like this, and then this one looks unaltered, looks exactly the same, and this is what they look like side by side. So let's plough through these sunflowers and have a look at the width. So I'm going to turn on field creation, let's just start, so as we can see, it looks around about 6 metres as it should do. Let's get a work of working on that. And then there's this one. Turn on field creation and get ready for the lag. As you can see, it's not really caused me much lag this time. I'm still at 60 frames per second. And the width is just absolutely gigantic. Sorry, but you're going to have nowhere to plow now. Get out of my way, worker. Oh, it lagged when I crashed into him. Is the worker going to do the spin of death? No. Where is he going? I don't know, I don't really care. But yeah, that's the working with done, and it has done this much of the map. That's not too bad. It's gone from here all the way down here. And then we move on to the trailer. So this is the unmodded version. I don't know why the name hasn't changed. Maybe I forgot to press save. But the visuals have changed. So this one, 20,000 litres, 37,000 litres. And this one is just not even the capacity that I set it at. It must have a limit. So I'll have ours as red for danger and we'll have the regular one as the Michelin special. And there we go. Now we're just going to get a trailer, uh, tractor to pull it. Let's just go with this one. So if we add 37,500 litres, this is 37,000 litres one, I'm not too sure. Yeah, 37,500 litres, so let's add that to that, and that's what it looks like. But if I set that one to 37,500 litres, then it's going to look a little bit different. Set it to 37,500, and that's what that looks like. <laughs> it looks like it's not touched the capacity at all. So let's uh, put the hood back on just so you can see how much is in there. So then we're just going to set it again to. So let's put 10 million in. That's a long lot to do a million at a time. 9 million? what 9 million looks like. So we're just going to move these over to a silo. I should build a silo somewhere. This one's pretty big. Plonk it in the field. And then we're going to need some extensions because obviously it's massive. There's many bigger ones. Doesn't look like it. We're just going to add a bunch of these next to it. That should do it. <laughs> Will this hold all 9 million litres? Well, there's only one way to find out. So, as we can see... Oh, bugger. So yeah, we'll put him in here, and let's see how fast you'll unload this. Yep, there we go, all 9 million litres are in. And if we did the same with this, it would take a short amount of time to do it, but a bit longer. And uh, you can see that this is a lot heavier than the previous one, because we've got the exact same tractor and it's pulling it a lot slower. So 
so let's go along here and that one took less than half a second this one is going to take a few seconds so we're already five seconds in Yeah, it took around about 11 to 12 seconds to unload. And I'm actually quite impressed with how <laughs> weird this looks. But yeah, that's how we do it. So yeah, that's how we modified plows and the trailers. You can do the same thing with any other piece of equipment as well, besides windrowers, because they have a physical moving part, whereas the others just have a pickup. But yeah, if you've enjoyed this video and learned something new, why not hit that like button, subscribe, and use my partner code if you plan on getting FS25. The code is Fiasco. I'll leave a link in the description for Notepla Notepad. Yeah, Notepad++. No, Notepad++ will be in the description, as well as my partner link. If you ever want to just help me out a little bit, then by all means do it. But yeah, now you can become the ultimate noob like me. See you later.